In this episode of Coming Soon to Cincinnati, the Tri-County Mall Development's price tag has grown to $1.3 billion. There's been a lot of talks about this redevelopment project since the mall recently closed its doors permanently. Also, one of the biggest clinical research centers in the area announced a big expansion that will bring 1,500 new jobs to a very popular Cincinnati neighborhood and a $25 million boutique hotel in the historical neighborhood of Over the Rhine gets approval to move forward. We're talking about all this stuff right now. What's up, it's Victor Fam, your Cincinnati Realtor. If you're new here on this channel, we talk about all things Cincinnati and all things real estate. So if you wanna know what it's like to live, work, eat, play, and chill in Cincinnati in the Cincinnati suburbs, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell, that way I can keep you up to date. So the Tri-County Mall in the suburb of Springdale, Ohio, which is about 15 miles outside of Cincinnati, permanently closed its doors in May of 2022 after being open for over 40 years. The project developers who are going to transform that abandoned space is Artisan Homes, and the plans are to completely transform the 76-acre space into a mixed-use area, which will include thousands of residential apartment units, cycling and walking trails, restaurants, retail shopping, offices, and green spaces for family and pets. Springdale Mayor called it the biggest project in Springdale history when the price tag was around $1 billion, but that just recently increased by $300 million, making the total 1.3 billion so i think this is huge not just for the suburb of springdale which is already a very popular bustling area with a lot of businesses and a great school district but it's a big win for cincinnati it's really close to the city it gives residents more options on leisure that they have closer access to liberty township has a mixed use similar to this layout that they are planning but i don't think it's as big as this one i kind of see this as like the future of how people enjoy leisures i think the traditional shopping mall is kind of phasing its way out People really like this multi-purpose areas because you have a lot of options of what you can do in one area, not just food and stores or a food court and some stores, which is the traditional mall layout. That's my thoughts on that, but they are going to call it Artisan Village, rightfully so, credit to the developers. And they're saying it's going to be somewhere around 2,600 residential apartment units, and that's massive. So that's a big win for Springdale, big win for Cincinnati. They are starting with phase one in 2024, they said, with about 400 of the apartment units beginning development. MedPace is a clinical research center in Cincy, right on the tip of the neighborhood of Madisonville, which is absolutely booming. I've called Madisonville one of the most underrated neighborhoods in several videos. But MedPace mainly is involved with a lot of modern clinical research and providing pharmaceutical devices. That area where MedPace sits has been developing continuously over the last several years. Hundreds of upscale apartments went up off Madison Road. There's also the big Summit Hotel over there, which is really popular for business travelers. That area is up and coming fast, and they are finally starting to fix the roads going off of Red Bank Road. Thank goodness. God, that road was bad for like ever. What's wrong with the street? I don't know. I really don't know. You're lying. What's wrong with the street? The MedPace project is estimated at around $150 million development to the existing building, and they are saying it's gonna add 1,500 more jobs to the facility and $90 million in payroll over the next six years. So if you're in that industry, you may wanna pay attention to that one. I think they do plan on moving fast on that one. And lastly, the plans to create a $25 million boutique hotel in OTR recently saw a key approval. It does look like they may be moving forward on that one. I guess boutique means fancy, right? The hotel is supposed to be right across from TQL Stadium where Cincinnati's professional soccer team plays. That stadium, by the way, is only a year old. OTR or Over the Rhine is considered a historical district right off the cusp of downtown Cincinnati. And OTR has seen some big transformations over the last decade. Lots of redevelopments to Washington Park and Vine Street, which used to be probably 
one of the worst streets in the city at one point. And now OTR is just a great place to hang out, really fun stop, popular for tourists as well. And I know some folks get really upset when that happens and they like to throw that word regentrification around, but I mean, there's nothing we can really do to stop this stuff. When that TQL stadium went up on that area called the West End, a lot of the residents were pushed out and that upset a lot of people. But thinking about it in a positive light, I'm actually grateful to live in a city that is willing to take action once an area is so far gone and repurpose the area for a positive and more public use. In my opinion, that's just a cycle of a city that actually cares about keeping the area thriving. There are some major cities in America that just don't care. I'm not going to say any names, but some cities will just let the neighborhoods go and they just become wastelands. So that's taking it in a positive perspective. That $25 million project should also bring a lot of jobs with it once they get it going. If you're an actual resident here in Cincinnati, Ohio, let me know what you think. Let me know how this stuff makes you feel. I'll do my best to keep you up to date on any future stories. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in Cincinnati or any of the suburbs around Cincinnati, feel free to reach out to me. I'm glad to help you with that. If you want to know some more cool stuff about living in Cincinnati, Ohio, check out these videos right over here. I'll see you next time. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic.